All right, guys, I may have found a solution to the tire problem with this Max Slash. You know, the stock tires, good on pavement, all that stuff, but they're really kind of bad on the dirt. What I've got are the J Concepts landmines for the UDR. Now, there's a possible issue here. I'm going to show this to you on the table before we take it for a drive, and we're going to run 6S again. Let's go. And that possible issue might be that little bitty spacer right there to make these things hub centric because these wheels are not set up for that. However, I've already got to change hubs out. One of them's not in good shape anyway, so if I happen to strip a set of hubs, oh uh, well, at least it's a cheap fix and the wheels will be fine. Okay, they're on. They actually look pretty good. Um, hopefully those hexes hold up. We're about to find out. Let's do this. Okay, so what I'm looking for is basically grass traction because we know that. Now, before I do the full throttle launches and risk messing these hexes up, uh, let's see something. Oh, wow. The stock tires, they're basically street tires. And <laughs> I mean, really. But then again, the regular slash, it kind of has street tires on that as well, doesn't it? We got a little bit of rain, but let's just see here. Much better cornering right there. Look at that. Now we got something that can run with the Mojave. Whoa. Okay, these tires may not be happy here. And the reason I say that, wow. The reason I say that is the front of these things really, really expanded on that. But dudes, I got a lot better turn now. Oh, I found water, darn it. Yeah, I can see that front end just expanding. But yeah, much better, much better. All right, now I'm not saying I'm gonna be able to get a fast lap, but I will tell you this much, it's handling a lot better. Now the backside over there where we raced on Sunday is really whooped up, so that might affect things, however, Let's see here. Good corner right there. See the front tires just kind of expanding out. Wow, that is so bad on that backside. It is nowhere near like what I race them on when I put them against, or when I put this against the Mojave. Everything is so whooped up right now. But I can tell you this much, and I'm hitting that water puddle every darn time. I can tell you this much, this is a whole new truck. A whole new truck, let me tell you that. It's not rolling too bad. Hey, I missed the water puddle. Oh, there it was. I was talking about not rolling too bad, and I roll it. <laughs> that backside needs to be drugged pretty bad before I actually... I think it's time for a round two as long as these hexes will serve. Ah, I just shut off. I think we're ready for a round two unless, uh... that was weird. Did it just get hot? I don't have my temperature gun, but that was a shutdown on me right there. And see things like that will make me want to change out the ESC. Let me put the, well, maybe I can do it with a camera rolling here. I don't have my, temperature gun so just gonna have to oh my goodness let's see nope motors not hot battery plug is all the way in it's definitely gaining some weight though isn't it it is packing in there now that's pretty normal when it comes to short course trucks out here uh, short course buggy Truggy, especially when it's fresh after a rain like this, it just sticks in there. I think we gained about another three pounds. So, yes, I'll grab my water bottle. Oh, I probably knocked out a bunch of dirt right there. Yeah, all right, you guys can see this right here. Yeah. 
Wow, what a mess. I should not have done this video right now. <laughs> I should have waited a couple days. Yeah, I gotta get the tractor and drag that. That is bad. I'm gonna fix the rear diff in that Mojave and we're gonna have round two. I got a feeling that's gonna be a little bit different story this time. Now the good thing with this pad out here, it's ready to race. Yeah. Good, knock that dirt out there, dude. <laughs> oh my God, this is rough. All right, let me go hit it with the air hose and uh, go in and make sure my wheel hexes are okay. Okay, so although these were a huge boost, they don't really like this vehicle. Although I'm gonna keep them on because I've gotta fix that Mojave and put these things up for round two because I got a feeling these tires are gonna change things up a little bit or at least make it closer on the track. So that's kind of what I'm after with this. Now, um, I'm gonna try my best to get with J Concepts and try to get us a set of belted for these, for this. I mean, all it would take is a different set of hubs and we'd be all set for this thing, right? So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Well, anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, tires are a huge thing because no matter what you do to your vehicle, the tires are what contacts the ground. That what contacts the surface. If they don't work for the surface you're on, you can have a thousand horsepower. You have a top fuel dragster. You're not going anywhere. Tires are kind of an important thing, you know? But regardless of all that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And I want you all to absolutely get out there and make today yours. Do, do something a little bit extra that you know will benefit you three weeks from now. Figure that out. Have a great one. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.